Good morning. It's Monday, October 31st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Judgment Falls, in our scripture's 1 Corinthians chapter 5, where the Apostle Paul writes, When I wrote to you before, I told you not to associate with people who indulge in sexual sin. But I wasn't talking about unbelievers who indulge in sexual sin or are greedy or cheat people or worship idols. You would have to leave this world to avoid people like that. I meant that you are not to associate with anyone who claims to be a believer yet indulges in sexual sin or is greedy or worships idols or is abusive or is a drunkard or cheats people. Don't even eat with such people. It isn't my responsibility to judge outsiders, but it certainly is your responsibility to judge those inside the church who are sinning. God will judge those on the outside, but as the scriptures say, you must remove the evil person from among you. Paul was consistently misunderstood and criticized for his teaching on sexuality. The apostle was even mentioned by his fellow apostle, Peter, as being somewhat hard to understand, but acknowledged that Paul's revelations were from God and delivered with the authority of Scripture. Peter further stated that only the twisted mind of false believers, not true Christians, mocked what Paul was preaching, and God would take them to task for it. So, what was it Paul taught that was so controversial? It's the very same thing you hear as a criticism, mostly from those outside the church, that Christians are judgmental and critical of anybody who isn't as holy as they consider themselves. It's a blanket condemnation by unbelievers that all believers are blanket criticizers. It's a little like the pot calling the kettle black. Now, if that's the misunderstanding of what Paul taught, What is it precisely that Paul did teach? He taught just the opposite, that Christians ought not to judge those who are outside the church. Paul said expressly that he left that to God. The responsibility of judging, not of motives or ethical commitment, but behavior of Christians within the church is necessary for the purity of God's bride. While Paul focused on sexual sins, sex outside of marriage, including unmarrieds, same-sex, and adultery, because that was rampant in the Corinthian church, he pointed to other gross sins that were demeaning to the character and moral ethic of the people called Christian. Among those were greed, cheating, idolatry, and many others. Without raking over the lewd details of any of that list, let me cut right to the chase this morning. I'm not lambasting 21st century culture for being immoral and unchristlike. The Apostle Paul's injunction against pointing fingers at those outside the church still stands. It's the sin within the camp that strains credulity here. Today's church, in large percentage, has identified more with the surrounding culture than what Scripture identifies as the Bride of Christ. It is the church's lukewarmness in embracing those who profess Christ as Savior, but live in open and unapologetic opposition to moral and ethical Christian standards. Sexual sins, including all forms of homosexuality and heterosexual activity between unmarried people, along with every other kind of sin, must be held to accountability within the church before anyone outside the church will seriously take the church as something God-ordained. You clean your own house first. For you today... I'm not proposing a witch hunt to weed out the church membership roles. I am suggesting, however, that pastors particularly had better quit trying to fill the seats and grow a Christian-infested organization they call a church. In place, it would be better to return to the practice of the mourner's bench, to wait a while until the fruits of true salvation are exhibited in the life of those who profess their faith. 
Otherwise, pastors and elders who ignore this might hear from Jesus on that great judgment day, Depart from me, I never knew you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.